Guess who's back for another Trader Joe's? Oh. So a few weeks back when I went, I couldn't believe like how many things were so freaking delicious. So I went back, got a few of those things again, and some other stuff. So let's get right into it. First things first, frozen. <sighs> Thai banana fritters, sliced Thai Namwa bananas in a coconut milk, rice flour, and sesame seed batter. Please tell me if you've tried these. This will be my first box. Got the tres leches cake. Confession, I've never had tres leches cake. So I'm gonna start off with this frozen version from Trader Joe's. Three milks. Hash browns. I really have no purpose for these other than I just wanted some like hash browns and eggs. What? Do you wanna say hi to the world again? Oh. oh, that's nice. Caramel loves these treats. I have to give them to her though in small doses because she's sensitive. Just noticed that TJ's has uh, these, the pasteurized organic. Uh, question, if it's pasture ra pasteurized, <laughs> pasture raised, if it's pasture raised, I thought it was like automatically like, I didn't think the organic factor mattered. Is that right? Either way, I got three dozen of these. <laughs> look at, look at the little baby kooks. Um, I'm gonna try them in my salads. Roast beef, salmon flakes with some cheese and crackers for snack. I am in love with their generic white chicken salad. I really wanted the croissants, but they were out of them. The garlic spread. You could try this on so many different things. I'm in love with this. This is delicious. Romesco dip, bright and zesty Spanish inspired sauce uh, made with roasted red peppers, tomatoes, and crushed almonds. Use as a sauce or dip. It's vegan. And then there's like this nice little zip of garlic at the end. So good. This will be the third kind of tamale I've tried there the chili and cheese. I tried the pulled pork, which I was actually expecting to be like barbecue ish. Pulled pork, that's like what comes to my mind. But no, it was, there's a little bit of refried bean in there and um, they said a red sauce. I didn't really see any trace of red sauce, but those were good. I went a little burrito crazy, burrito bonanza. I haven't tried this one before, the pollo asado. Uh, this is tender chicken with black beans, corn chili salsa, salsa shark. Hey, if you know what movie that's from, comment below, salsa shark. I have had the cheeseburger burrito. I'm a fan. I've heard on the internet that you're either a fan or you're not. It's kind of good for like a weekend night, if you know what I'm saying. And then I like this one too. Uh, chicken sausage breakfast burrito. Aww. Sprinkles, teeny tiny tomatoes. Perfect to just throw in your salads. For my salads, two butters and a baby. This week's haul, I spent $131.73. I had a panic buy moment. The spicy taco sauce was a seasonal item. I asked the gal at the register and she said no. So anyway, I wasn't sure if it was, so I got three because I really like this stuff. Bananas, banana spot, caramel, my cat's name, washed Gouda cheese, aged five months. I'm so curious about this, let's try it. Mmm, I'm not quite sure what the caramel washed means. I really don't taste any caramel. Mmm, very subtle notes maybe. I don't even know if I'd call this a dessert cheese. I mean, I guess it would be really good with, you know, some grapes, some, some fruit and some crackers. Cause you know what? I got some pita and naan. Just a uh, pita with sea salt and just the, I guess, I don't know if these come in any other flavor besides just regular old non-crackers. I don't know if they do the garlic thing with, with the crackers. I didn't see any of those, but always nice to have some cr cracker options on hand. I saw these last time I was there and passed because I went with those sunflower cookies. 
These are um, pinks and whites, the shortbread cookies with yo yogurt coating and sprinkles. Sorry for the sound. I love shortbread anything, so let's try a pink one. Oh, you know what? These look like those little shortbread butter cookies. I don't know if those they were shortbread, but they're like butter cookies that you, you know, when you're a kid, you used to like stack them on your fingers like rings. Mmm. There's a nice shortbread little zing. Pretty good. And I like the little little uh, sprinkles. Nice little texture pop. I have some sesame oil, but not organic or toasted sesame oil. So I got some. Organic strawberry lemonade. Let's just get ready for summer, okay? I kinda wanna taste this now. Cheers. Not as sweet as I thought it was going to be, which is good. Whoa. What I love is the strawberry flavor is dominant. It's not like lost in like the lemonade. It's really good. I am not, generally speaking, a mushroom person. There are some exceptions. These are cheese and truffle flavored. Uh, there was one time, shout out to my cousin, we were at an Alamo theater. We went and saw Rogue One. He ordered popcorn with like truffle popcorn or something with truffle oil. I was like, oh my gosh, popcorn is like delicious. And he's like, it's truffle popcorn. I was like, really? Maybe I, maybe I like truffles. Let's give it a shot. Whoa. That is so flavorful. This is like the best cheese crunchy corn snack, gluten-free, I've ever had. Mmm. It's kind of like a very mild, umami-ish kind of deal. That's off the bat and then the cheese is the afterthought. There's a saltiness to them too. <sighs> Refill. Last but not least, the ciabattas. 400 degrees, three to four minutes for the best flavor and crisp crust. Reheat directly on the oven rack. First feel like when you're kind of there and you're like, mm, this feels kind of firm. These seriously soften up when you put them in the oven. So try it. All right, guys, that wraps it up. Thanks again for hanging with me. Uh, depending on how you're viewing this, if you're viewing this on like a laptop or like computer or something, you might see a little picture of caramel in the like lower right hand corner. Down there somewhere maybe. Go ahead and click on the sweet little baby caramel to subscribe. If you subscribe, I think you should, go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I upload. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. That really helps my channel with the YouTube algorithm. Um, I hope you guys are doing great, taking care, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Look into my eyes. Like this video. Subscribe to my mom's channel. You'll be rewarded with lots of cookies.